Successful fall trout fishing can come down to using the right bait, but also the right scent. And in today's video, I'm gonna share my top five fall trout fishing scents and one bonus scent that are gonna help you catch more trout. What is going on you Outdoor Mavericks? Welcome back to the channel. Today's fall trout fishing video is gonna be all about scents. And in fishing, scent is important. It's part of the three S's, sight, sound, and scent that are the key to success when it comes to fall trout fishing. And to catch those big fall trout, not only do you have to pick the right bait, but sometimes it's also getting the right scent on the gear that you're using to get those big bites from the brownies, the rainbows, and even the brook trout. And stay tuned until the end when I share my bonus scent that I think is gonna be a game changer in the fall trout fishing season. Now starting with the number five scent is gonna be crawfish or crayfish. Now depending on where you are in the country, your pronunciation is gonna be different. However, this scent is a critical one in the fall time frame for fishing for trout. Now in the fall season, trout love crawfish and having crawfish imitator baits are great, but if you don't have those, adding some crawfish or crayfish scent is gonna be key. No matter whether you're fishing in warm water, a little bit colder, water up shallow or up deep. Now the trout are going to go up to the crawfish to feed up in the fall time frame. So adding a little bit of this scent to your baits, whether it's spinners, eggs, power baits, or whatever, is going to give you a different scent profile, especially if you're at a lake or a pond that's very crawfish heavy that the trout are eating a lot of. So before you hit the water, think of the body of water that you're fishing is very crawfish and crayfish heavy. Make sure you grab a bunch of these scents because I think this is an underrated and underutilized scent in the fall time frame, it's gonna help you catch more trout. Now coming in at the number four scent is gonna be garlic. And garlic is a great scent year round for chasing trout. But in the fall time frame, it's a really good one in warm water conditions. Now as the seasons and the water change, you're gonna have some different patterns and go-tos, but especially in deeper water, garlic is a great scent that's going to attract the trout. Now one of the best ways I love to add garlic scent to my baits is to use the rooster tail Yakima bait a Pro Cure Collaboration Garlic Plus Spray. Now this is made for rooster tails, but you can apply this to a lot of different baits that you can use out trout fishing. And I really like the Garlic Plus in that early fall time frame. When you got the warmer weather and the warmer water, garlic is a go-to. Now when water temperatures also start to drop, I like using garlic in the afternoon, letting the water warm up just a few degrees, and the garlic will be something that the trout pounce on. Now coming in at the number three scent is gonna be anise, and very similar to garlic, I like anise all year round. And in the fall time frame, I think that this scent fishes well in all kinds of conditions, but also the best no matter what the changing conditions are. Say one day you've got some cooler water, you've got some warmer water, you've got sun, then rain, then cloudy, then sunny again. I think anise is the best scent when you've got changing water conditions and changing weather conditions throughout the fall season. Anise is something that I think the fish just really enjoy in the warmer water, but also in the cooler water and on days where the cooler water starts to warm up with that sun at the peak at noon that's shining and hit the top of the water and this is a great scent to use when you got a little bit of a top water say a couple of feet towards the top of the water bite going on and this is a great scent to stand out and again like the crawfish I don't think anise is used enough as a scent in trout fishing and in the fall time frame it's gonna be a game changer to help you catch more trout on really slow days now coming in at the number two scent is gonna be Nightcrawler scent and this is one of my favorites of all time when it comes to fall trout fishing. Now in the early fall time frame, Nightcrawlers are going to be a great bait in that warmer water and can produce some epic days with 20 plus bites. And it's also a great bait and scent in the high mountain lakes right before the snow and the frost comes in and high mountain lakes become unfishable. But just in general, fishing worms underneath a bobber, plunking off the bottom or just you know attached to a jig head, rolling through some flow water, adding a little bit of night crawler scent. It's the perfect grub and the perfect scent that the trout are really going to snap at and go after. And my favorite night crawler scent combination is to actually rig up with a night crawler underneath a sliding bobber setup and add in some of this night crawler garlic scent in the afternoon time frame when the water's gotten a little bit warmer. And that's why night crawlers is a great bait in the afternoon. I think I catch more big trout in the fall time frame in the afternoon using night crawler scent. So if you're having a slow morning, think about what time of the day it is, switch over to Nightcrawler and get ready for a big takedown. Now coming in at the number one fall trout 
fishing scent is gonna be salmon eggs. And it's that time of the year in the fall season with the trout spawning, there's gonna be eggs in the river systems, the creeks, wherever you're gonna fish for trout, there are gonna be trout eggs. And if you fish in places like I do, there's also gonna be a lot of salmon eggs around. And the trout are gonna key in and hone on those salmon eggs and go to town. Now, even if you're using other baits to catch trout, like power bait, spinners, spoons, plugs, adding a little bit of salmon egg scent is gonna help you have some really epic days on the water. And even tipping your salmon or trout eggs with a little bit of salmon egg scent is really gonna amplify that scent and really get trout to come in from farther distances because they're gonna smell that egg and they're gonna wanna go after it right away. So make sure you got salmon and trout egg scent with you when you head out fall trout fishing and you're gonna have some really epic days and some really awesome pictures to show all your friends of all the big trout that you caught. Now I have two bonus scents that I really love in the fall time frame when I'm chasing trout. The first one is Trout Feast by Smelly Jelly and this is a great one to get big hookups and big trout. It's something that I've used the last few years and it has been deadly. And then the other scent that I really like as a bonus scent is Trophy Trout from Yakima Bait and Procure in the Rooster Tail Spray. Adding some of this Trophy Trout scent, it has helped me catch some of the biggest brown and rainbow trout that I have gotten throughout the whole year, but also in the fall time frame. So if you're looking for a couple bonus scents that are gonna help get you over the top and get you on some epic bites, get the Trout Feast and the Trophy Trout and get fishing. And there you have it guys, my top five and a couple of bonus fall trout fishing scents. I hope you guys got some information and some tips out of today's video that are going to help you catch more trout in the fall. And if you guys got some great information out of today's video, smash the thumbs up on that video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing if you love trout fishing, trout fishing tips, and other outdoor content. And don't forget, and as always you guys, the outdoors is a gift. Share it with others.